Okay, this is gonna sound counterintuitive, but stick with me. The way that I got to where I am today as a six-figure freelancer charging $300 an hour is I needed money, but my why or like why I was freelancing was completely different. So I've actually been freelancing since high school, basically. Like I used to make like short little documentary films for companies. I uh, love just kind of like submitting my work to publications. Like there's a part of me that really loves the world of freelancing. I'm a TV writer, I'm an author. I know how much, you know, if you're trying to make a living as a creative first, freelancing is, seems like this quick thing that you can do, make money right now, write some blog posts, get out there and go. In reality, freelance writing is a craft just like everything else is. Uh, the freelance writing market is still pretty crowded and so the way that you stand out is by finding a niche that you actually have a ton of passion for and you're really excited about and you can bring your unique skills to it in a certain way. If you're not thrilled about learning about search engine optimization and keyword research to support the blogs that you're writing for different companies, then you might wanna try a different field of freelancing. I say this because it will help you in the long run because if you are writing for your day job and writing for your novelist career, um, you're going to hate writing. However, if you decide to start a product photography business for your day job, then you're gonna save your writing brain where you can make money like you know, doing product photography, you still have to learn things, you still have to hone a craft and like put up an upper portfolio and go through that. But I actually think that doing a different kind of freelancing skill for your day job will help kind of keep you from being burnt out as a writer if that's something that like you, if you're, if you don't naturally think about like, I'm so excited to write blogs today. Before I got into copywriting, like I used to do a lot of copywriting for my own websites. Like I did a lot of research on search engine optimizations. I was already writing blogs before I got paid for them. So I already loved them, which allowed me to kind of turn that passion into a freelancing career that was super sustainable and super profitable. You're not gonna be able to be competitive as a freelancer if you don't have a love for your niche, for being a memoir ghostwriter, a copywriter, whatever. If you don't love it, like truly love it, and you're just doing it for money, there's honestly so many ways that you can make money fast that are not freelancing. <laughs> like you can go and do drop shipping or whatever. And like that stuff has its own pitfalls, its own problem, its own like learning curve. But if you just need money, then don't be a freelancer. However, if you wanna build a holistic career where you're really investing in your time of learning as a copywriter and learning how to write blogs and like applying your skills, it's super rewarding and valuable, but freelancing is a very long-term game and it takes a lot of time and energy to actually get paying jobs, uh, learn customer service and client management. Yeah, don't, don't jump into it if you don't actually love it.